what's going on thanks for tuning back in for another episode here we are back out in the mountains this time we've gone over to bc and uh gonna be hiking into a lake with bull trout and with cutthroat trout so i've got a couple friends with me ashley malcolm in the back over here I'm getting <sighs> bitten by mosquitoes and uh just figured we'd stop here for a little snack break and pull up the camera and get started on this trip so hope you guys enjoy and uh I'll see you down the trail. Yeah, oh my Lord, watch me sway. Darkness falls and we all pray. Hoping for the light of day. Down to the river, I have held the devil's hand. Felt the weight of my own sin Burdened by the heart of man Down to the river Down to the river Oh, oh, bury me, carry me Oh, oh, far beneath Oh, oh, fire and water me Going down deep Alright, well we made it down uh, almost We're 0.7 kilometers away from the campsite Point eight away from the lake here got a nice little creek we're walking along and this is um, accessible through two spots so we're on a pretty well groomed trail because the other access point from the BC side is only uh, only a kilometer hike so they're able to get gear in here to kind of keep the the trail nice and I think this one even offers wheelchair accessibility which is fantastic because there's not not very many options for backcountry and beautiful mountain lakes that uh, offer that kind of accessibility for people that are in a wheelchair. But I'm going to finish along here and uh, set up camp. Probably set you guys up to watch a little time lapse of camp going up. And then I think next next step is hopping in that lake because it's cooking. <laughs> What do you think, Ash? Up to par? Yeah. Meet your expectations for backcountry trip this year? Oh, yeah. The only thing that'll make this better is a nice campsite and a nice tasty fish cooking over the fire. Mmm! Get my belly! <laughs> yeah, this is... One of the nicer spots I've been to, actually, in a long time. I think just... Just from an accessibility standpoint, beautiful lake. Pretty impressive backdrop. I'm looking forward to going and checking out the upper lake probably tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna venture up there today. But we'll see. It's still pretty early. I think it's still like only one o'clock-ish. All right guys, well we made it into camp here and uh, I honestly had no idea it was gonna be this nice. Um, show you around a little bit. Ash immediately laid claim over here <laughs> and uh, taking a little break in the shade but I'll show you. So we got there's one site I think Ash and Malcolm are gonna take that one. We've got another site right here and then we got this nice uh, nice fire pit, little hangout area, some down trees over there too. Might be able to get some like small kindling. We got firewood is supplied by the parks here. I don't have a splitting axe, so that might be a little interesting. Just be burning some big logs. But then we got literally just hardly even a jaunt. A mild stone's throw and we get down to the lake. And I'll tell you what guys, look at this view. Honestly, how incredible is that? Right at our door. We got this gorgeous big mountain coming up here. That. And then the lake. I can bring my raft down and I can just fish right here in front of the camp. Paddle around, try and get some cutthroat trout or a nice bull trout. So I'm ecstatic about this camp. 
We got camp set up. Tents there. Pack raft off behind me. Ash and Malcolm got their setup going. And I think it's time to go wash these dogs. Cause they're a little sore from that hike in. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit chilly I'm willing to bet, but it is hot out and it is gonna be nice to get in this water. Alright. How's that for a swimming hole? Obligatory pocket check. Oh yeah. That's got some bite. Oh. Oh, why does it drop off so slowly? Oh, burr, 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 burr. Oh, and it's muddy between the toes. Okay, okay, you can do it. I don't think I'm going deeper than that. <laughs> we'll do, we'll do one time. out on the water it's time to do a little fishing and I'll show you what I got set up we got a little bit of new gear for this actually these are new the new pair of polarized sunglasses I picked up which uh, I'm not sure how good they'll be for this lake but I might fish the river a little bit later for bull trout and uh, they'll come in handy later maybe and then I got a new fishing reel too so I got my regular rod that I normally have it's a six weight TFO rod I got this new reel it's an Orvis reel and uh, it's an Orvis clear water and this reel comes with um, three spare spools for it so I've got two different kinds of line what I've got on right now is a really nice sinking line and that'll help me get my fly down deeper and try and target some of those fish hanging out on bottom especially the bull trout that are in here and cutthroat too um, and then I've got a floating line and that will be especially good for like dry flies and uh, and targeting those surface feeds. And then I've got my usual my little black magic type woolly bugger here. Not sure how clear that comes through, but uh, it's a woolly bugger. It's black marabou on the back, and uh, this one has a tungsten beadhead, which is uh, even heavier than say lead. So that also helps it get down. So I think we'll head out a little bit deeper and uh, cast out and then 
just do my usual and I'm gonna just troll kind of around the lake. I think up at the far end there's a creek that comes in so I might kind of troll along the shoreline until I get there and hopefully catch something. I'll turn you guys on when we get one. Let's do some trolling. We got quite the steep hillside here. There's a fish. Oh, that might not have been a fish. I'm not sure what just happened. But as I was saying, we got quite a steep hillside here. And uh, I'm hopeful that we'll get something kind of right on the drop off here. Well, we didn't get any fish on the troll, but if you look around here, you can see we got this stream that flows in, and then over here, it kind of flows in and then it drops off right there. We got a nice little ripple channel and also there and it flows in comes off of the bank there's a big pool right there so my thinking it even does it over here is this might be a better place to cast and just even though the water's cold just kind of wade out and then rip it through like a streamer and see if there's any bull trout or cutthroat trout in the ripples here i think this is probably the best place here on the lake to try and catch a fish so i'm going to set you guys up here on shore and then I'll wait out there and I'll try and get something. We got the fish. Beautiful bull trout. Well, I only caught that one fish. I did have one other strike and uh, didn't connect with the fish. But you kind of look in behind me here, you can really see. Damn, flies. You can really see those storm clouds coming in. So I think it might be time to head for the hills, get back to camp and. Uh, get back to Ashley and Malcolm, kind of figure out what we're doing for the rest of the day. And uh, also, I've got the brook trout, or not brook trout, sorry, the bull trout that I caught. Nice big beautiful char. So we'll get that back and we'll cook that up as well. So, I'm gonna cross over these streams, get back to the uh, pack raft, and you know, as usual, we're gonna troll back to uh, back to camp there see if we can't pick up a fish on the way but I think it's uh I'm happy I caught my fish 
and now it's time to go do something around camp instead. I'm just gonna kind of scooch out into the current here and then let the current push me out and I'll uh, send out line as I go and then I'll just troll back. So I'll set you guys back up here to watch and we'll head back to camp. And I just want to briefly talk here about conservation, uh, specifically around the bull trout, since they can be a little bit of a touchy subject for some people. Now, bull trout are struggling throughout part of their range. Um, part of their range, they're still doing quite well, and, uh, and they are protected through a lot of it as well. Uh, I'm in BC here, and on this lake, there's no special regulations, so I'm allowed to keep one bull trout per day. Uh, I'll throw the regulations up here, as well as um, I'm allowed to keep, uh, I think, a, a few cutthroat trout if I wanted to. Um, and for this trip, I've made the decision that I'm just going to keep one bull trout, and if I catch a cutthroat trout, I'll keep one cutthroat trout, and that's going to be, you know, between three people over three days. So I feel like that's a pretty minimal impact, um, and also enough to kind of really add to the experience out here without being damaging. So whenever you're out, you know, camping and at these awesome lakes, I just encourage you to kind of look at the lake, look at the fish numbers and whether or not this is a lake that has a high turnover, whether it can support that um, and how much fishing pressure it gets and kind of make a decision based on that. And just keep in mind that you don't always have to go home with a limit. some of this bull trout shot. It's got nice crispy skin on it. Look at that crispy skin. Oh my mm. God. That trout is really good. That might be some of the best trout I've ever had. finished up the food there and I decided to come fish the river um, now on the river it's all catch and release right now so I'm not gonna be keeping anything out of here and I already got my one fish for the day anyway but I'm trying to do a little catch and release I'll show you here so we got a little bit of fast water and it kind of has a little riffle out there and slows down so I'm just gonna wade out and uh, brave the cold water and do some casts through this kind of slower stuff and see if there's another bull trout or maybe a cutthroat trout hanging out in here. Oh, we just had a fish come up and, and have a go at it. <laughs> this, this pool, okay. Watch this. I know where that fish went. I think we'll get it on this one. Ready? Right through here. There we, oh, I missed it. There's a bull trout there. All right, let's try again. It's right in here, watch.
Not sure if we'll get another strike. Oh, there was another strike. Oh, we got it. <laughs> we got it, you guys. Look at that. That's a cutthroat trout. That's not a bull trout. <laughs> Oh, look at that fish. I can't believe how gorgeous this fish is. You guys see that? Jumping it on and off the shore. Uh. Come on, easy. Forgot my fishing net on this trip. And because I'm gonna release this fish, I wanna be gentle. Look at that fish. Wow, gorgeous. So I just found something awesome, you guys. Check this out. I wish I found this before when I was doing the catch and cook with that fish, but I'll use them for something else. So this one right here, all these ones here with the purple flowers, this is wild onion and uh, yeah, it tastes exactly the same as like chives or green onions from the grocery store. So that's super cool. I'm gonna pick a bunch of this and I'll bring it back to camp. We'll probably do some with dinner and uh, maybe we'll throw some with like an omelet in the morning or we'll find something good to do with this because this is a super cool wild edible. time to make up some dinner. So, what do we got? That sounds good. Kung Pao beef. Give that one a try tonight. There's two cups. Looks like we might have a little bit of weather rolling in here guys because I can hear the thunder and the wind yeah, I feel like it's so away. yeah it might be chow time crawling to bedtime <laughs> but you're gonna give this try Kung Pao beef this one's a new one for me give you guys a view all backpacking food looks a little bit the same not gonna lie <laughs> rehydrated mush but looks like good rehydrated mush mm -hmm. pretty good I mean I'd be upset if somebody served it at a restaurant but when this is my restaurant, I can live with that. <laughs> Ooh. A little threatening up there. All right, well, making a hasty retreat here. It's really coming down now, raining pretty good. So I think we're gonna finish dinner in the tent, take the food back to the bear cache, and call it a night. Ooh. Yup. Time to, time to, 
run for the shelter. Just gotta make sure not to spill. So then the bears don't decide to come say hi. And then I'll be fine. You two alive in there? Oh yeah. <laughs> do uh do you want me to take your stuff back to the cache? That's okay. We we still gotta take our toiletries and mm, stuff. Yeah. Okay. But it's not, thank you. It's not raining too bad now. No. No, no it's calmed down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was a uh, pretty pretty intense little thunderstorm there. It's uh still raining. I'm real happy I set up my tent well enough to withstand that and had a uh, nothing over there. Real happy I set up my tent well enough to withstand uh, the rain and stay real nice and dry. So, but it's a little bit after nine despite the fact that it's still nice and light out and uh, so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna brush my teeth and get ready to start calling it a night not sure if I'll uh, go to bed right away we'll see if the rain stops I'll probably stay up for a while but start making my way I think I'm good I'm probably gonna hop into bed here Good night, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to call that a wrap here and uh, head for bed because it's getting a little late and ideally I'd like to be up real early so we can take the raft out and I can try and get us on a morning bite for some nice cutthroat trout. So I think I'm going to wake up and, uh, and go out there first thing. Well, thanks for sticking around to the very end here. I, uh, I think I'm going to make this trip into a couple of different episodes. So that's going to be the end of episode one. And stick around because next week we're going to have episode two from this trip. And uh, be going out first thing tomorrow morning doing some fishing on the lake. I got something real special planned for breakfast out here. And we're also going to go to the upper lake and uh, check that out and do a little fishing too. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.